In this section, we'll have a closer look at the brass family. In particular, we'll introduce the four main types of brass instrument that you might expect to hear in an orchestra. Brass instruments all produce sound in the same way. The player makes a buzzing noise with their lips into a cup-shaped mouthpiece like this. That buzz goes round the tubing of the brass instrument and that's what creates the sound. Um, even a piece of garden hose with a mouthpiece in it counts as a brass instrument. It doesn't matter what the tube is made of, as I've just demonstrated. A saxophone, by the way, is not a brass instrument, um, even though it looks like it's made of metal. The sound of a saxophone is produced by a reed, rather than the player's lips, into a mouthpiece like this. So the saxophone properly belongs in the woodwind family. In a fairly standard orchestra, you'd expect to hear four different types of brass instrument. Trumpet, French horn, trombone and tuba. Of course, there are many more different types of brass instrument, things like cornets, tenor horns and euphoniums, for example, that you might hear in a brass band, a wind band, a jazz band or other musical group. However, if you get to know the four main types of instrument that you'll hear in our orchestra, you're off to a good start. The highest sounding member of the brass family is the trumpet. The trumpet is small enough to hold in one hand. It's often featured in music that's meant to be exciting or triumphant. For example, the music for Star Wars, written by John Williams. But the trumpet can, of course, also play softly and gently. It's a very versatile instrument, and as well as featuring in orchestras, it's also used in jazz, as well as making an appearance in many different styles of popular music. Here's a few examples for you to listen to. The French horn is lower in pitch than the trumpet. There are often four French horns in a large orchestra and they can create a wonderful sound when they play together, either all playing the same thing in unison or playing different notes to create harmony. Both the French horn and trumpet and other brass instruments can cut through the sound of the big strings section of the orchestra really easily and that's why in a typical orchestra you might only have a handful of brass instruments uh, and perhaps as many as 50 violins, violas, cellos and double basses together. The French horn has been featured in some cracking music over the years. For example, the opening fanfare of the Jurassic Park theme by John Williams or the very famous Black Beauty television theme. Have a listen to a few examples now.
The trombone is lower than the French horn. Unlike both the horn and the trumpet, it has a slide instead of valves. The valves are the buttons that you see on most brass instruments. And by pressing the valves down individually or in combination, the player can bring different bits of tubing into play. In other words, air goes through these bits of tubing when the valves are pressed down. This makes the tubing longer and therefore lowers the pitch of the note that you hear. Something like that anyway. On the trombone, the length of the tubing is changed by moving the slide in or out. If the slide moves out, the tubing gets relatively longer and the pitch of the note goes down. Bring the slide in towards the player and the pitch of the note gets higher. Trombones are therefore the only brass instruments that can produce a true glissando. That's the sort of slide that they make when they play a note and then move the slide gradually out or in. <laughs> Like the trumpet, the trombone is often used in jazz and many other styles of music too. Here are some examples. The lowest instrument in the brass family is the tuba, sometimes called a bass if you find it in wind bands or brass bands. There's usually only one of them in an orchestra and they play the very deepest notes. If you compare the size of the tuba to the size of the trumpet, it should be clear that the smaller the instrument, the higher the sounds it makes. This is because longer tubes produce lower notes. If you straightened out all the tubing in a trumpet, it would be about one and a half metres long whereas all the tubes in a tuba would stretch to about four metres long. There are also much wider tubes, which helps give the tuba its big round sound. Although the tuba sometimes plays long notes and not very interesting parts, it is just as capable as any other brass instrument of playing faster tunes too. Here's a wee example.
Just as a final reminder, have a wee listen to the brass instruments in the Orchestra of Wales. After this, why not try the Kahoot quiz found in the description below this video. Let's meet the brass section. The tuba. The trombones. The trumpets. The horns. Together, the brass section sounds like this. Mm -hmm. 